Hello YouTube, I'm New Century Maine meteorologist Jason Nappy. I'm going to talk about a white Christmas, and especially in northern New England, but I'm also going to talk about the whole country just briefly. So if you're tuning in, you're watching from anywhere in the Rockies to the Plains or in the Southeast, just hang around for a second here. I work at New Center Maine, a meteorologist there. We focus in on New England, northern New England, but I do like to expand that reach out to the state and the country. So snow depth here in northern New England. Prior to the storm that's coming Sunday night to Monday is about three to six inches, six to 12 Western mountains, Northern Highlands, the Allagash. And as we get into a place like let's just do Bangor, for example, here and talk about the snow we've had so far to set the table for white Christmas today, zero this month, about zero, typically a little bit more than that for the season so far, typically around five inches only have an inch on the board. So or on the ruler. So not a lot here. So here's the socials to follow along before I do this deep dive into white Christmas probabilities across the entire country. Uh, and we do pizza and ice cream on the Facebook page there and also on the YouTube a little bit in the Instagram. Here's the whole country. Okay, here are the colors and the numbers, the table. Let's just define white Christmas here. You need at least an inch of snow on the ground Christmas Day. Okay, and the probability of that obviously is pretty high cascades, the Rockies heading up to the high plains, northern plains. Now into New England, you got to get up most likely into the mountains here in the Appalachian Mountains, right? So we'll talk about that as I fly into New England. I put the numbers on so you can get a real good idea about the opportunity or probability that you're going to see a white Christmas in northern and southern New England. A uh, chunk of that there. 100% chance. Western mountains, Boundary Plateau, Allagash, Northwoods. It's only six times I think it's happened where there wasn't a white Christmas in Caribou, which is right around here. 90% chance south of that you get closer to the White Mountains of New Hampshire, um, the Central Highlands, and then 75% chance a good chunk of Maine from Lewis and Auburn, Augusta, uh, mid coast, heading up just good chunk of down east, uh, close to Eastport, and then 60% southern coast back to the down east coastline. Uh, we call it true down east over towards Eastport and uh, not so much Bar Harbor. So let's talk about as the forecasts are going to be developed here for Christmas Day, which is still a few weeks away. This is like a game of Plinko. I don't know if you remember this from maybe the childhood days, but you take obviously a little drop there of a ball and you drop that in. And what happens here 10 days out in the forecast here? This is where we are currently. Let's say let's say it's 10 days to Christmas. It's not, but let's say you're watching this 10 days to Christmas. You're going to drop that in and then a lot of different paths are going to happen with this here. And because you have all the variables and the path for it to take, each step is going to depend on that path or that variable. So if you want to get that one inch or six or 12, you got to still go through all of this, the days and also the variables and the changes that are going to happen. So you have all those possibilities and then you have a model is only going to give you one solution. So you're going to get maybe the two inch solution, depending on the model, the GFS, the European, you know, the longer range kind of models, right? Then you have the actual. Well, look at the path that how much it deviated there because of one big difference. So maybe the model is not showing the phasing or in this case, if it's going towards eight, maybe it is showing the phasing and then you have a better shot. Now, if you go here, and you look at the closer to the day. Now we're only two or three days out. The possible paths in the game of Plinko have now lowered. So it's a four to six to eight, 12, no longer is one inch in that possibility. So that's why we always talk about how the closer we are, the more confident we get because the variables go away. So we'll talk about white Christmas now in more detail and the opportunity since 1991 to 2020, the averages here and here's the coding. I mean, you're in Dallas, you got no shot, obviously. Florida, Atlanta, no shot. You see, you're at less than 10% chance. I wouldn't say no shot, but almost zero. Now you start going up to Chicago, you're getting up around 25 to 40. Minneapolis, you're getting closer to like 60 to 75. So it depends where you are. If you're in the Cascades, you got a good shot. Uh, Denver, you got a real good shot. Focusing on Maine, Northern New England here, New Hampshire, a little bit of Vermont, and you're in the 50 to 75 to 90% chance because obviously you're going up in elevation. You're going higher. These are where the storm tracks are. The storm coming for this weekend is going to paste Greenville, Presque Isle. But as far as actual opportunity, you're 90 to 100% chance from Greenville North into Presque Isle. Here's the North Woods, Allagash, 
Western Mountains, Boundary Plateau, the Longfellows, right? You go down south of that, and I'll show you how the probability starts to go down based on the last kind of obviously about 30 years or so. East Machias, Callis, you're in a 60 to 75 percent chance, but Bar Harbor, you're dropping down obviously close to 40 or 50 or 60. You're, you're, you're starting to go down the closer you get to the coastline here. In Bristol, you're in that 40, 50, 50, 60, right? And you're really getting down to the 40, 50 here, southern coast here. So Saco, Old Orchard Beach, Wells, Kennebunk. So there's a big drop off there, southern coast, in the immediate southern coastline. Let's go back to Bangor for a second here. Talk about what can and what's actually happened uh, in recent past and Christmas. 2020, typically you're 32, which is the magic number for snow. Actually, 61 that year. That's a lot closer to where the temperatures on July 4th. But look at July 4th of 2021. It was actually 58. It was cooler than what you'd normally see in July 4th. So that's just one thing to look at. We're talking about white Christmas. Another thing is precip types. You need all snow, right? It's an inch of snow, not an inch of sleet or freezing rain. It's an inch of snow. And that's the trick. You have to have 32, less than 32. And obviously a little kind of uh, winter driving tip while you're here, while you're watching is if you are driving through black ice, please don't hit the brakes. Just take the foot off the accelerator because or else you're going to spin out as your, your tires are trying to get that traction that they're not going to get here. So a little 3D look there at some precip types. I appreciate you obviously sticking around to watch that because you know it's winter driving tips. We're all getting back into it. Here's a little 3D look at precip as well. So when you have rain, Remember, even in the summertime, you got ice crystals in the sky. You got snow, right? But it melts because of that big warm layer. In the wintertime, or early spring and fall, here you go. You got a big wedge of warm air. That's the freezing rain. So it, snow melts, flakes melt, and then they, they're going to just completely melt. And then they refreeze on contact. That's the stuff that's going to coat tree limbs. It's going to coat uh, power lines. Here's the other caveat when you got sleet, you got a big kind of wedge of cold air, okay? Just a little warm air. So there's kind of the refreezing going on. Sleet's gonna bounce off of tree limbs and power lines. It's not gonna coat them because you got ice pellets here because of the refreezing going on. Now, the cold air here for snow, that's white Christmas stuff right there, top to bottom. That's where you wanna have the snow. I thank you for watching and following along, talking about white Christmas, get the kids all excited, right? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know on the socials. Facebook, good place to find me. Instagram, you can find me on TikTok, obviously YouTube. Let me know. Are you hoping for a white Christmas with, for the kids? Hoping to make a smile for when Santa stops by? Let me know and I'll talk to you next time.